What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, and today we're going to be discussing one of my least favorite arguments, inverse history. The they're only human argument, like, because they are human, they can't do anything extraordinary. My Mario vs. Sonic debate has been resurfacing a lot lately, and so far most of, not all, but most of the arguments say stuff like, Mario loses because he's a fat Italian plumber, he's only human, he can't be that fast. Not only is that a super dumb argument for Mario vs. Sonic, but that's a super dumb argument in general. I want you to close your eyes and think of all the fictional humans that you know. People like Krillin or Saitama pop up in your head, and think about what they can actually do. Saitama can one-shot planet busters and Krillin can fly and shoot blue key beams out of his hands. Those don't sound like normal human things to me, but they are normal humans. Or like Heihachi, he can catch bullets with his teeth. I don't think any human has ever done that. In fact, his Tekken 5 prologue describes him as no ordinary man. Bayonetta is 100% human and she has all these crazy witch powers and carries guns on her hands and feet. And it's absurd that Mario gets this normal human fat Italian plumber argument the most, considering he gets bigger by eating mushrooms, can shoot fireballs out of his hands, turns rainbow and invincible when he touches a star, and all these other crazy things. I mean, think about it, the grand power stars in Mario Galaxy are strong enough and hold enough power to manipulate and generate entire galaxies, and Mario was able to defeat Bowser while Bowser was powered up by one of them. But because Mario is a human, he can't beat the Ninja Turtles, because they're Ninja Turtles and not humans. And Ninja Turtles are stronger than humans, right? Yeah, I think you're starting to see the flaws in this argument now. Sure, he's a normal human, but he's a normal human that can defeat constellation manipulators and galaxy-powered dragon turtle things. Fiction doesn't really care what a normal normal human is. And it pretty much goes the same for everything else, like even material things. Take the ink or paint in Splatoon for example. It's just ink, yet it can still shatter wooden boxes or push giant metal fists back or explode octoling tentacles. Even though it's just paint, and it's like that for other things. Think of Gara's sand. As I always say, not really, this is just something that I came up with while recording. What something is, is not all that it can be. In fiction, Team Fortress 2's wrapping paper can smack a snow globe several meters away. In fiction, Dingo Dial's flamethrower can explode, yet still be fully functional and unharmed. And in fiction, normal humans can be universal.